Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thanks for coming back as always. I appreciate it. Really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another transformer review. Yeah. So, I've had this thing for a couple years. I, I think this came out oh, 2017, maybe? When did this come out? 2018. Okay. Yeah, so I've had it for a couple years. Never got around to reviewing it. You know, I just never opened it or anything like that. And I was going through and I was opening up some stuff that I have in box. And I was like, oh, I'll just do a review of this. So, this is a three-pack. I think this was an Amazon exclusive. I may be wrong on that. Hit me up in the comments. Tell me if it was. Uh, but this is a Hollow Mirage. Which, if you follow my channel, you know I love, love clear transformers, you know, translucent and everything. Definitely had to get the Mirage. Uh, Decepticon Impactor and the Power Dasher Aragon. With the final one to, you know, to fill out, the, you know, the other two came. I think they were Generation Selects ones. And then you had this one to get the third one, uh, the final Power Dasher. Uh, so, yeah, I love the box. Really cool. I love this setup. Um, if they would have did, like, the Decepticons. That would have been a cool box to put this in or something like that, like a three, you know, a three pack of that. The sweeps are coming up, you know, with the '86 movie stuff. That'd be pretty cool to put them in a box like this. But like I said, this I love the box art; it looks really good. You got the side, you got the arc, and then the siege thing. You've all seen that and everything. And the back. I see uh, 19 steps to do Impactor Aragon is only eight steps, and Mirage is about 14. So he's a uh, weaponizer. You know, you can, you know, upgrade your transformers and everything like that. So yeah, I decided, I was like, yeah, I'm just going to do a little review. You know, go over the stuff. I'm not going to show transformation. Everybody's seen all the transformations. These are so old and everything. Uh, God, it's weird saying these are old when they're like three years old. Uh, but yeah, I was going to show you the difference. Then I'm going to compare them to their, you know, the uh, their uh, regular stuff and everything. So we'll see. Just have fun, you know, play around with them and everything. But yeah, so let's just get right to the review. That's what you came for. Yeah. All right, there they are. And these are, you know, this is just a recolor of Mirage. This is of Impactor, the Autobot one. This is a Septicon one now. And he's a repaint and a new head sculpt of Cog from the first wave and everything. So we'll just take a look at these real quickly. And then I'll compare them with their other ones. And here is Mirage. And there's blueberry colors. I don't understand why they didn't do that like this in that blue right there. But they went, I may, I could understand the joints, maybe, because up here, like that, but I don't know why they didn't do the, uh, this part right here, and that, and translucent blue, but, you know, it's fine. All it is is translucent blue. <laughs> Looks good. So lickable. I'm glad the weapons are like that as well. Very nicely done. You can take these apart right here. It does have some skull work throughout the weapons. Looks good. Underneath. Like I, said, I can understand maybe this part, everything, the joints and everything. I don't know why they didn't do that one. And dress those up blue. Kind of goes good together. I like it. Rolls just fine. And here is an impactor. And I'll show you the differences in a, in a second. It does a uh, turn. That's good. And it does go up and down. And this can go side to side as well. It does have wheels, so it can roll. There's the back. And then the Power Dasher. Aragon. I hope I said that right. Maybe. And like I said, he is a uh, weaponizer, so you can take him apart. And you can... Upgrade all your other Deluxe Voyagers or Leader Class. These do go up and down. It does roll just fine. All right, I'm gonna look at them individually with their uh, counterparts. Real quick, here is Mirage. That's pretty cool. Not a terrible mold. Not the best, but wasn't one of my favorites in the Siege line, but it's a good mold. Back. You can see a little number 26 right there. That's cool. Yeah, they look pretty good together. There's the Mirage and the uh, 
Polo, Halo, Hollow. <laughs> I said Halo, Hollow Mirage. Cool stuff. All right, here is Impactor. Now this is part of the set. This is the Decepticon one. This is the Autobot one. So right off the difference is right here. This has silver paint, no paint at all. The duck bill right here, a little longer right here. More purple paint right here and yellow paint up here as well. Now, there is a difference in the paint right here as well. So this is kind of an orange, kind of blends in, and this is a yellow, and it does have red under there, and which you'll see more in a bot mode, and it has yellow paint. And like I said, this has a little Decepticon symbol right here, and that has an Autobot symbol. Uh, but you can tell a little difference right there. Um, that's about it. You know, the space mode is going to be a little different, you know, because that's just how it is. Um, on the side, don't think anything else is different. Oh, yeah, there is the caution. The caution thing right here is right there. It doesn't have it on this one. So the Decepticon does have the caution tape. The back is going to be the same. Nothing really different. And the side, same for the caution tape. That's on that one. So a little difference, a little different in paint and the duckbill thing up here. The silver for uh, this right here is the same. So not much difference. A little different paint details in the Decepticon and Autobot symbol. So there you go. That is Impactor. And here is the Power Dasher. Now this is a complete recolor. Now a retool of the head as well, and I'll show you that in bot mode. But And I do have the guns for um, COG. Don't know whether I had to put them up or something like that. But uh, so this is a complete, just a recolor that and everything and like I said new head sculpt too as well there's the back and there's that so, so you can see the differences and everything it's pretty cool yeah recolor and a little head tool or head sculpt difference and everything so there is cog and the power dasher Aragon Crappy Gunnets, Crappy Toilet Paper, and Care Bears for scale. All right, back from transformation. Let's take a quick look at these guys. I'll do some articulation, not much, but there's the head sculpt. There's Aragon, the Power Dasher. He is a um, weaponizer, so you can take him apart and everything. You can side to side. You can look up, but this is just because of transformation. So really can't look up or anything like that. Swivel, everything comes apart and everything. But I love the head sculpt. Nicely done. Silver, yellow, and blue eyes. Looks really good. You got some silver paint up here. Silver right here. Some little accent points right there. I love that. Kind of wish they would have painted some silver right here somewhere to make that pop a little bit. And you got some silver right there. Um, elbow bend, swivel. He does have a waist swivel. And you can, uh, there's the guns. Nice detail. Some sculpt work in there. You can do the Van Dam all the way out there. Kick up, kick, eh, not much back. The booty gets in the way. Thigh swivel. I say you got some silver paint right here. And for the toes, you do got a 90 degree for the, well, more than 90s, I'm sorry. More than 90 degrees for the knee bend. Nice sculpt work through the treads. Uh, no toe tilt up or down, but he does have a nice rocker and everything. And that's painted too as well. This red right here is a maroon, a darker color. Then you got the back, lots of waffles. But yeah, there you go. That is Power Dasher Aragon. Aragon. Then moving on to Mirage, which is my favorite of the three because you know he's transparent. I love translucent uh, transformers. But beautiful head sculpt. I love that yellow. You got some white paint in there as well on the side of his helmet. Uh, look down a little bit. Not much up. Side to side. And this can swivel as well for his weapon. You can have it on each side. You do have uh, two holes right there. And you got the, everything just translucent blue. I love it. The blueberry mirage. And you got this light blue for the joints and everything, which is fine. Uh, swivel up to there. This can move up if you want to have a 80s working woman shoulder pads. It's up to you. You can move it out a little bit. It does have a bicep swivel, 90 degrees in and out for the hands. He does have a waist swivel, which looks good. He does have some sculpt work throughout 
the chest and everything kind of looks like a honeycomb effect and it says number 26 if you get the right angle you can do the van dam kick up kick back thigh swivel beautiful once again and you got the light blue throughout uh 90 degrees for the knee bend uh toe tilt uh down and up as well and he also has a rocker so yeah very nicely done there's the weapon a rocket launcher and his gun it's got some skull work in there too and here is the back i love how those tires fold in to the back there to fill that gap in that's pretty cool that's a hollow mirage i like him looks good blueberries mm. and last but not least impactor the septicon beautiful head sculpt and i'll show you he's got a different one yellow paint all throughout um that might be purple pla uh, paint as well that's good silver paint right there kind of a bluish tint for the eyes look down a little bit not much up side to side and a little attitude you got the duck pla duck bill platypus thing right there right there purple paint purple paint i said plaint purple paint right here yellow paint right there love the yellow right here the caution throughout really nicely painted Love the Decepticon symbol. So you can go up to there, all the way around. Bicep swivel, 90 degrees for the elbow bend, and just in and out for the weapons. Now you can put the weapon right here. You put it on top. He does have five millimeter ports throughout. And he's got his uh, IDW thing, his uh, harpoon. You can leave it right there. And you can put the hand out if you want to. He can hold it. You can put it up there, whatever your heart desires. Now, he does have a upper waist swivel, and he does have a ab crunch. Just because of transformation, but I'll still give it to him. It's there. Why not? And this can move side to side however you want to as well. Uh, Van Dam all the way. Kick up, kick back. Uh, no thigh swivel, but he does have a knee swivel. So that makes up for it. And then 90 degrees for the knee bend. And then you got toe tilt down. Uh, nothing up really, and you got a little rocker from this side and for that side as well. And you got red paint right here, which really brings out the sculpt work there. You got some kind of like an orangish, a light orange, kind of a sherbet thing going on. Now he does have some major waffle. Now I do have an add-on kit to a filler kit with him. I just haven't put it on. I think I have two of them, so I can do this one and the Autobot one. So I'll do that. Maybe I'll make a video on it. And then the back. Looks good, like the treads and everything. So it's got some gaps right there. I think they uh, got some gap fillers that will fill that in. But there you go. That is the Septicon Impactor. All right, here's Cog and Aragon. Aragon, Aragon, whatever. And you can tell different head sculpts and just different repaint. See, like I, I like how this is where it's just, you know, got some blue right here, and then silver, and this is just all red. Now, there is paint. I forgot to point out, there is paint right here, too, as well. So maybe if they would have painted all that maroon, that would have been cool. But once again, just a straight repaint with a new head sculpt. The guns are the same, too. I do have his guns, and they're the same as his. So that is the difference between them two. And here is Mirage. And they do have different head sculpts as well. He got kind of the cartoon version, and this is kind of the toy version. I think it was called Liger, I think what it was called. That's what it so it is a different head sculpt as well, as you can tell. And then he's just translucent and everything. So, looks pretty good. Yeah, different head sculpts and everything. So there you go. That is Mirage. And here is Impactor. And that there are some different, like I say, that's a different head sculpt. So the Decepticon one has more of a Spartan kind of a helmet, which looks very good. And then Autobot one kind of just looks, you know, it's good too, but different with the duck bill. And like I said, the red paint right here and the yellow paint. And like I said, he does have the cautionary stuff on there. And he does have silver paint right here where this one doesn't different you know mud on there as well uh, the back is about the same just different uh, paint apps 
more paint apps on him, I think, and a different head sculpt. But they both look good, to be honest. I like Impactor. He was a pretty decent one. Just got to fill in those uh, gaps. So there you go. That is Impactor. Oh, real quick. There they are together, the three Power Dashers. Reunited and it feels so good. Looks good, man. All right. And real quick, here's just one of the things you can do. Like I said, he is a uh, weaponizer. Now, it does put a lot of uh, weight on the back if you do it like this. But well, it's just starting like a show you and everything. And then you got the little shield over there as well. And he's holding his guns. So, just a couple things. That's what's the great thing about this trilogy was the uh, playability. So, you can have a lot of fun with this stuff. They're just one of the things you can do. Crappy Gonics, crappy toilet paper, squeaks, and Care Bears for more scale. Now, they are deluxe scale. Impactor is a bigger one. He's a big deluxe, but he could probably be Voyager almost, but there you go. Scale. Guess what, folks? I took some pictures. Enjoy. you like those pictures let's get on the floor do some floor time won't you join me be my neighbor all right all right all right all right let's talk about some three pack siege all right this is hollow mirage you got the aragon with a power dasher you get to uh, got to complete that set and you got impactor the septicon one it's a great set um i'm kind of you know upset i didn't open it sooner you know it's been you know i just never got around to open it i just left it and just you know didn't even pay attention to it but it's a good set. Like I said, this is my favorite. I love, you know, translucent transformers. And he's he's awesome. Blue, Blueberry Mirage is really good. All three of them are really good. I like the recolor. And uh, Impactor is a good one too as well. And he's got some better paint apps and a different head sculpt. So, yeah, overall, it's a great set. Now, I hope you was able to get one, you know, three years ago. This is probably a harder set to get now. I don't know how much they're going for. Um, but I'm sure it was Amazon exclusive. I'm, probably, I'm sure it sold out. And everything and everybody's probably ticked off about it but it's a good set you know you it kind of sucks that you had to get this one to finish off the you know power dashers and everything that really sucks to be honest to be a exclusive to amazon and you have to get that one to complete them so but you know impactor you know if you have the autobot one it's fine and i love the translucent one so definitely had to get this one because of, of that reason and everything but overall it's a great set hope you can get one so that's my review. Hope you liked it. Hit me some likes, shares, prayers, and hair bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me. I'm almost at 5,000. I'm under 100 right now to get to 5,000. So get me there. I really appreciate that. And I also also going to have a giveaway uh, when I do hit 5,000. And I guess I'll see you on the next Transformer review. As always, be good to yourself. Hell has, bro. And good night, folks. Mmm. Mmm-mm. So lickable. Look at that blueberry. <laughs>